Costello, I'm sorry, Costello at 144 and Arguello at 143 and we're underway in round number one. Mills Lane, the referee. Arguello in the dark blue trunks and Costello in white. On the head, sir. Hey, Rick. Well, Tim, so... There goes Costello. That's what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to press Arguello and make a wall out of it, Tim. Can't let Arguello get set. Arguello's style, familiar. Stocking, classic, straight-up boxing style. Costello showed a good boxing technique in his win over Ronnie Shields, defending his crown for the first time. But uh, known prior to that, primarily as a slugger. Club fighter style. Come out and brawl with you. And it worked for him. He was undefeated until he lost to Lonnie Smith. But Tim, so far, Aguilio, Costello is fighting the kind of fighter I didn't expect out of him. He's doing the backing up, and he's doing the circling. Smith with two left hooks. For Aguilio's reflexes, something uh, that has been under discussion, showing well there as... He forced Costello to miss, and Costello misses with a right hand down the pipe. Tim, he just missed that right hand. Talking to Eddie Futch about Alexis Arguello's defense in the Pat Jefferson fight, he says if he does as well against Costello, he should win handily. But, of course, Jefferson has not built Costello. Tim Jefferson, the man he beat in his Cost comeback fight. Costello was already hit Arguello with more punches than Jefferson did in the entire fight. But so far, no telling impact. I'm waiting for the first time that Arguello hits Costello with a good shot on the chin. Let's see how he takes it after the Lonnie Smith thing. Under a minute to go in round number one. This is scheduled for 10. 143-pound weight limit was agreed upon by both camps. Good exchange there. And a good left to the ear by Arguello. Good combination by Costello score. Arguello missing with now lands a left hook as Costello backed away. That stunned him. Under the 30-second mark, we go in round one. Left to the ear from Costello. He's, he's allowing Arguello to get set, though, Tim. That could be dangerous. And again, Costello missing. As Arguello ducked under him, we're in the final seconds of round one. Good body shot by Costello. This is round number two. Bill Costello in white, Alexis Arguello in blue. And it looked like they had, had uh, worked uh, over the right eye of Alexis Arguello somewhat. We did not see a cut there. May have just been a little swelling. We'll try and get a closer look at it here in, during round two. Costello has landed some solid punches in round one, and Aguayo is starting to show the effects of them. Aguayo keeps coming straight ahead. Costello is obviously the faster of the two. Tim, he has faster hands. Aguayo is going to have to land the big punch to win this fight. Solid left jab by Aguayo. Got Costello's attention. Costello with a right-hand counter missed. So the pattern so far, Arguello the stalker, Costello the counterpuncher. And there's a good left by Costello. Right-hand lead landed by Arguello. Good combination by Costello. I like the way Costello lashes back when he gets hit or even slips a punch and misses, Tim. He's, he's really charged up for this fight. Billy Costello, who actually retired after losing his title to Lonnie Smith, the retirement lasted six days. He said he was embarrassed by the loss. Wants the title back. Lonnie Smith may have something to say about that, of course. He is the champion, and he's fighting Rene Arredondo in a couple of weeks. Good left hand landed by Costello. Still allowing Arguello to get set, Tim. I think he can push those old legs back right, right about now. Right hand lead.
just missed under a minute to go round two 33 year old Alexis Arguello certainly as fine tuned as any 33 year old man can be but a little slower is to be expected both hand speed movement we'll see solid shot landed by Casella another one a right hand lead Arguello's reflexes don't look to be there Tim that was the big question mark in the fight. He got away with him against uh, young Pat Jefferson in his comeback fight. Five-round knockout by Arguello. But as we said, of course, this is a former world champion, Billy Costello. Good body shots by Arguello. Under the 30-second mark. Good right hand over the top by Arguello. And Costello is breathing heavily already, Tim. Final seconds of round number two. Grueling two rounds. Round number three live from the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching two former champions. Alexis Arguello in blue, Costello in white. Remember, uh, prior to the fight, a dispute over the hand wrapping on Alexis Arguello. At one point, he threatened to not go through with the fight. Was talked into continuing by a second Don Kahn and you have to wonder about all of the effects of the, the mental warfare that's been going on Tim anytime Costello wants to hit Aguayo he can hit him if he just keeps moving his hands it's no contest Aguayo continuing to stock and Costello looking a little more relaxed as the fight progresses we're in the third round Costello has said, if I can't beat this old man, I should retire. Alexis Arguello uh, speaking with equal confidence. Yeah, that's, a that's a mistake that Costello, Costello makes. He just waits on the ropes. He doesn't have to do that. He can back this Arguello. There's a good left hook by Costello. Costello bringing it up from underneath and now banging to the body of Arguello. That will certainly test the physical conditioning of Alexis Arguello and Arguello scoring, but without the same snap that Costello had. Arguello was also punching very, very wide, Tim. Victor Valley is yelling for Costello to punch in between, and that's exactly what he's doing, throwing nice short punches inside. Arguello moving a little more slowly, still doing the stocking in his inimitable style, but with less conviction, it appears to me, in round three. Under a minute to go. Again, Tim, I, I think Arguello has to land the one big punch. I don't think he can outpoint Costello. No, there's no way he can outpoint this kid. Arguello is too fast. Costello is too fast, I should say, Tim. Hands are faster. Reflexes are faster. Arguello, when he is landing, doesn't seem to have much sting on his punches. And Arguello, with his mouth opening a little bit more, under the 30-second mark we go. They've set a grueling beautiful, pace. Beautiful right hand over the jab by Costello, Tim. Fighting a very, very smart fight. Good left again by Costello as we are in the final seconds of the third round. Scheduled for 10. Tim, any time Costello wants it, he can land his punches. Four, scheduled for 10 live from Reno. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching Billy Costello in white, who as we look at our cards has a comfortable lead over Alexis Arguello through the first three rounds. Tim, at the end of the round, Costello went back to the corner like he was walking uphill very, very slowly and seemed to be very tired. Well, it looked like Arguello was tired, so we'll find out how the stamina holds up. And if I said Costello, I meant Arguello went back to the yeah. corner. Yes, he did. Like he was walking up there. Yeah. Costello counter-punching out of the corner. Good body shot by Arguello. Again, he should not stay on the ropes. That's the only time Aguayo can get set to throw the big punch. But does he have the big punch is my question, Mark. Oh, there it is. A right hand, right oh, down the pipe. It was answered. There's the big punch. Billy Costello with Mills Lane counting over him. And he is up. Remember, he went down 
five times and has lost to Lightning Lonnie Smith before they stopped it in the eighth. He got nailed, and he's hurt badly, Tim. Badly That's the Arguello in round four. Well, we trying to finish him. We mentioned that Arguello had to land a big punch, and he did. Costello trying to survive over there, wobbly-legged, punching back, but Arguello keeping up the pressure, and they stopped it in round four. Mills Lane steps in, and Alexis Arguello with a fourth-round stoppage of Billy Costello. A stunning turn of events. And Alexis Arguello at 33 years of age will continue his comeback. His dreams of winning a fourth world championship. And most importantly, a chance to get back on his feet financially. For Alexis Arguello, a dramatic victory as it appeared that Billy Costello had all the best of it for the first three rounds. But one big punch by Alexis Arguello turned it around. Tim, I mentioned that the only way Arguello could win was with the big punch, and here we'll see it again. Well, have a look at that. Now, I was just questioning Arguello's power, and watch this. Yeah, Arguello was stalking him as he did through the entire fight, and there he nails him. They both threw right hands, and Arguello beat him to the punch. And when you get hit like that, Tim, it's tough to come back. There it is again, both throwing right hands. Classic, classic right hand punch that we have seen over 20 years from Alexis Arguello and it was enough as Mills Lane then stopped the fight moments later. So we'll be back here from Reno, Nevada, but still to come on our CBS Sports Sunday, you'll see world indoor record holder Eamon Coughlin in the men's mile. You'll also see Billy Olson's record pole vault. That's all from the U.S. Olympic Invitational Track and Field Meet. And we'll be back here in Reno to talk to the winner here in just a moment at the Lawler Event Center. Stay with us on CBS Sports Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 42 seconds in round number four. Referee stopping the bout. And the winner, by way of knockout, the great Alexis Arguello. Alexis? Alexis? All right. Alexis, okay, okay. okay. Go, let's go here. Alexis Arguello, a dramatic, dramatic win for you. I know you must feel wonderful. I, I felt, and Gil Clancy did, that Costello had the best of you through the first three rounds. Were you confident that your moment would come to throw that famous right hand? Well, I think what happened in the, in the dressing room was what uh, upset me so much from the beginning. But then in the third round, I started getting loose because my angriness came off me, you know. And I think that those things shouldn't happen because it really is against athletes' principle, those things, because I do something... This will never, no, no, never gonna hurt anybody because I'm, I'm well aware what could happen if I put some extreme thing in my hand. So but you, you felt that your hand wraps were fair and legal? Yes, sir. I've been fighting for 18 years, and I'm, I have never been questioned about my bandage because I know what I, what I do because I've been bandaging my hand for over 15 years. Well, all right. Let's bring in Billy Costello. Billy, first of all, we're, we're glad that you're uh, up and all right and you look good and you. Your uh, eyes uh, are clear and so on. So obviously you weren't badly hurt, but that was a big right hand came from nowhere. Yeah, he caught me. I really did with a right hand. He countered the right hand, caught me with a right hand. Good punch. Billy, you're a great fighter. Great it, fighter. It, it, we had, had a great job. Costello was doing a great uh, job moving. And, uh, you know, that right hand I never wasn't expecting, but I saw the opening and I conquered it. We had you ahead through the first three rounds, Billy. You looked like you got more comfortable as it was going on until that one punch. Yeah, he caught me. I lead with a right hand, like I said. And, he countered me with his right hand. Um, no bad feelings, a good fighter, a great fighter. It was, it was a great show on CBS because really, Billy went all the way like a man. That's the way every athlete should be, every boxer should perform in front of the camera because 
we have a live audience that we have to take care of them. Well, all right. We congratulate both you former champions. Uh, hopefully both still on your comeback trail. You're not thinking about going away, are you, Billy? Well, I haven't on, thought Billy, about, about it. Yet. All right. They say you can do better than that. All right. All right. Congratulations, boys. Remember, we are going to have more from the Olympic Invitational Track Meet coming up. John Tesh and company have lots more track meet excitement ahead for you. So stay with us on CBS Sports Sunday. We'll be right back after this.